Man, I really, uh, really love this shirt. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chad. I'm your tall tailor. I like this whole new standing up setup. I think I might make it a recurring thing. Anyway, this is a situation that most, you know, new and beginner sewers find themselves. They have a garment or an article of clothing that they really, really love and they love the fit of it and they want to make it out of like, I don't know, a different material or in a different color or slightly tweak the style without actually touching the original. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. I have this pair of black polyester sweatpants. They're pretty decent like feel and pretty decent shape. They're more of like a wide leg sweatpants. The color's good, no fading or anything like that. A little bit of heel bite at the bottom, but you know, that's, that's fine. We're gonna be recreating them with a new fabric. The fabric we have here is French terry. It's like a black, it's like the, you know, the, the hoodie material. It's like thick, um, very, very nice weight. I don't know how much uh, the weight of this fabric is. I got about two yards, which is about what you need for a pair of pants, plus or minus a couple of yards or like half a yard or so, depending on like if you're really, really tall or something, or you're a little bit shorter, you don't need that much fabric. We're basically gonna be recreating these pants with this material. Um, yeah, so let's get this on. Okay, so I have my fabric laid down and have my pants on top of it. What we're basically gonna be doing is tracing the pants on the fabric and then we're gonna be cutting it out. We're gonna be doing that in two ways. Why am I out of breath? Damn, we're gonna be doing that in two different cuts. One's gonna be for the back panels and one's gonna be for the front panels of the pants. Good thing about this pants is there's only six different parts to the pants. Two front panels, two back panels, a waistband as well as the pockets. And that's pretty much it. It's a really simple pants. So I'm gonna get off the floor and I'm gonna start cutting. One thing you do when you remember whenever you're cutting on fabric, um, especially stretch fabric like this, this is a stretch knit. You really gotta make sure the direction of the stretch, if it's like a two-way stretch or one-way stretch, if, you know, the kind of stuff like that. This fabric only stretches in one direction. So it stretches in the width uh, and not in the length. Well, a tiny bit in the length, but it's where it stretches more in the width than it does in the length. And you wanna make sure that when you're cutting on the fabric, don't put it in like any weird random direction make sure for these pants specifically you want the stretch to be in the width of the pants and not the length so when you're cutting it make sure the length is on the part of the pants that doesn't stretch that much so this is something you want to keep in mind not just for this project but future projects when you're cutting pieces make sure that they're in the right and the correct direction on the fabric all right so we're done the cutting and this is what the pants look like pants they're not, they're not pants yet but it's what the cuts look like you can kind of see that i have four layers of fabric one two three four layers of fabric and yeah it's looking pretty good so far the fabric is really really thick and i made sure as i said before that the stretch is in the width of the pants so that it's not going to be stretching at the bottom and sort of like messing up the silhouette of the pants okay so the next thing we're going to be doing to recut the pants is gonna be cutting the pockets. In order to figure out which pockets we wanna do, we pretty much go to the original pants where you can even see like the color difference. This is so much darker than this one. Anyway, you can go to the original pants and take a look and see what kind of pockets that they used. So look on the inside. These are kind of, yeah, you can see the pocket bag. If you want, you can sort of like copy this pocket bag, like how we copy the pants. But the pocket bag in these pants are kind of, it's kind of small. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of mid. So we're gonna be making a larger pocket bag because I just like pants with bigger pockets. You can hold more stuff in it, put your whole hand in it, phone, wallet, keys, water bottle. Tape. You've seen my Janko jeans video, you know, like how I like big pockets. So we're going to be pretty much doing that on uh, these pants. the pockets they're done i have one two three four so i'm gonna go get these attached to the pants attaching these specific pockets are pretty simple actually the first thing you're going to be doing is lining up the pocket bag the edge of the pants here it ends at the bottom there so we're going to be making a stitch at a quarter of an inch all the way on the side and we're going to be doing that for both left and right sides of the back pot oh is it going to focus Okay, and we'll be doing that for both left and right sides of the back panels and left and right sides of the front panels. All right, 
back from the sewing machine and we did the stitch. So I stitched the pocket bag, so this is the pocket bag, to the size of the pants on all four panels, the front two left and right and the back two left and right, Star Trek. And I also understitched the pocket bag. This is the stitch that secures it to the pants panel and this is the understitch right here. And we can just look at the underneath. I overlocked the edge and I just understitched the seam allowance onto the pocket bag. All right, so I stitched the pocket bags together. Our next step is going to be attaching the back left and the back right together. So it's the back left and this is the back right. I'm just gonna be stitching them together at the rise. That's just that little J-shaped curve at the bottom here. I'm just gonna be stitching these two together at a half an inch seam allowance and I'll be right back. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna be doing, we stitched the two back left and right panels together. That's a stitch in the middle there. And here's the pockets. And we did the exact same thing for the front. Now we're gonna be attaching the front and the back together, first starting with the pockets. So uh, this is pretty simple actually. We just pretty much line up the side of the pocket. So one side there, line up this side, that stitch with that stitch, the left to the left side and the right to the right side. Line it up. You can pin it just to secure it as well too. And we're just gonna be stitching down about three inches. Do that on the left side and the right side. And then pretty much, that's pretty much it, stitching the pockets. All right, so this is what the stitch looks like now that it's done. You can see it's pretty nice and clean. We stitched the top of the pocket and also the pocket entry is still open. Just a couple things we have to do to finish this pocket. Okay, so I'm back from the sewing machine and this is what the stitch looks like. Nice and clean right there. And the next thing we have to do is pretty much just stitch the rest of the pocket bag. So the remainder of the sides there, one, two, and the curve at the bottom. And also we can connect it and stitch the two sides of the pants there just to finish up the bottom. And just do that for the left and the right side. And that's, yeah, we're making progress. All right, yo, so we're almost done. This is what the pants are looking like so far. I sewed the pocket bag on and I stitched all the way around the edges so it's nice and secure. The thing I have to do next are two things. I'm gonna be stitching the out seam of the pants that joins right by the pocket. So stitching the out seam all the way down to the hem and stitching the inseam all the way down to the hem. And then we're gonna be going to the waistband and then we're done. All right, so the main parts of the pants are finished. I finished the pockets, sewed the inseam and the out seam and I also serge the bottom of the pants and did the hem. The last thing I have to do now is do the waistband. This is pretty straightforward also. I have a piece of elastic that is a little bit shorter than the actual waist of the pants. It's a double piece of elastic. I stitch it together so it's a loop. And I also have a loop that's fabric that's about the same size as the, the same size as the waistband. And I also made a little tiny hole in it. You can kind of see that there little tiny hole and I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna be slipping some of this sort of drawstring material through the hole and I'm gonna be stitching all this together and attaching it to the waist of the pants. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is folding the waistband in half and just sort of slipping the elastic in the waistband. And I'm just gonna run a um, sort of a basting stitch all the way around just to secure everything together before I attach to the pants. Just gotta, <clears throat> alrighty. The pants are done, baby. One last thing I just gotta do is snip off all the excess thread and stuff like that, and maybe just run it over the iron a little bit. And that's pretty much it. The pants is done, it looks great. Let's compare it to the original ones. You can see pretty much night and day in terms of color. Um, the size is pretty much, pretty much identical, actually. The size is the same. One thing I did change is I made the bottom hem two inches. So it's a really like heavy, thick hem at the bottom. And also the pockets are a lot deeper all the way down there. A lot of deeper pockets. I just like making bigger pockets and all the stuff I do. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Yeah, man. Pants. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.